Hey, what's good viewers? Today I've got the Guardians of the Galaxy 5 box set. It was an Entertainment Earth exclusive. Here's the box. It's actually a really cool looking box. The box art on the inside flap is the same as the outside flap. On the back they got a cool setup of all the actual toys, pose and everything. On the side they got the symbol for the Guardians of the Galaxy with their faces in it. I love that it's comic accurate. One of the main things that drew me to the set was the fact that it was comic accurate and not accurate to the movies. Nothing against the movies. I just personally like the way comic book characters look. The set comes with Gamora up here. Rocket Raccoon comes with Groot. Thanos. Star-Lord. I will review each one separately as just a time saver. The other reason why I will review each one separately is because some people might just be interested in a few. Because this is the day and age of eBay, and you may only want Star Lord, you may only want Thanos. So, without further ado, let's start opening this baby up. Star Lord, the legendary outlaw. This is such a cool design for a figure. It's just so unique in the way it looks. I feel Star Lord's helmet is all shiny and pearlescent looking. It's a nice blue. There's a little bit of a paint mishap right there. I'm not sure what that's about. It, helmet reminds me a lot of something out of World War II, I guess. There's a nice gold trim all the way around, and they got the insignia right there. I'm not sure if this insignia, insignia is, you know, just Star-Lord's insignia or the whole entire Guardians of the Galaxy insignia. I guess I should look that up in my free time. He's got some orange right here. I guess this is where he breathes out of. It's a nice looking cool mask. I like this a lot better than the one from the movie. The one from the movie works for the movie, but this one works for me. I like this a lot better. He almost looks scary instead of heroic, to be honest, and I, I honestly like that a lot. Throughout, you can see his clothes kind of, you know, ruffled up right here. I guess would be the word there. He's got some creases in there. It looks like he's actually wearing a jacket. Every angle you look at it from, even the pants right here, he's got the wrinkles, and it looks like he's wearing pants, and it's not just some simple design. Hasbro really pulled out all the stops with the design of this Star-Lord. I think they had a little bit of lead way because this was a first and originally a San Diego Comic Con exclusive. I'm not 100% with the differences between this and the San Diego Comic Con exclusive, but I, I'm sure they changed a few things here and there just to make you know one a little bit more exclusive or keep one exclusive, you know, for the fans that you know they think they didn't waste their money. So one thing I'm kind of noticing is that the top mold doesn't exactly fit the bottom mold. There's a little bit of overhang, or I guess underhang. Overhang on the bottom and underhang up here, you can actually see it doesn't fit exactly well. It's not 100% noticeable, and that's mostly because the belt is hiding it. His gauntlets, I like the buttons here. Just really, really nicely detailed. Paint apps throughout. There's a few spots I can see that are pretty bad. I can notice the one on this helmet. A little bit of a paint mishap here, and sometimes in the red, you can see the blue showing through. It's not horrible. I like the buttons going down in a shirt. This is just, it's a really nice mold. It's a really great mold. Get some more details here in the pouches and the buckle. You can see his little shirt tail hanging out here. It's been tucked into his belt. I've already touched a little bit on how the pant legs look, like he actually has pants on. I really like all the all the wrinkles in there and this right here it's got a nice design to it the way it just kinda comes out right there and again with the World War II look these look like the World War II boots that the army wore the way these shoe covers just you know cover the boots little buckles right here this is just really cool this mold is really impressive onto articulation his head won't go back too far because of the way his collar meets in the back of his helmet it'll go down not too far either because the front of his helmet and meets the collar of his shirt again. He does have a nice swivel though. His shoulder will go up that far and go 360, upper bicep swivel, double jointed elbow. There's no swivel there. He's got a swivel on the wrist and a hinge. Ab crunch works incredibly well. That's a really good ab crunch there. So that kind of makes up for the fact that he doesn't have much of a neck articulation. Waist swivel. His legs will go up that far, not quite 180 degrees. That's as far as back as I can get him to go because the articulation is blocked by the butt. He can only kick out that far. Upper thigh swivel, 
double jointed knee, ankle rocker, and a hinge. Taking a quick peek at Star Lord's guns. In the comic, Star Lord has these elemental guns, and these look like the guns from the comic. The disappointing thing about these guns is there's not much detail at all to them. There's not much paint apps. It's just a flat, kind of pearlescent silver. Not quite silver, but kind of silver. They could have really done some stuff with this, and that's kind of disappointing that they didn't paint it at all. So the guns are held really well by the hands. The gun design itself, I do like. It's just, it looks cheaply done. I don't feel like they finished it all the way. Maybe if they had a little paint, that would have been okay. But I feel like they probably should have taken a little bit more time since this is just a remold anyways. You'd think they could have just added some, you know, black to it or something. The box set also comes with a Cosmic Cube, which I'm just going to say is an accessory to Star-Lord. Just because he's the... He's the leader of the group, so uh, it's his, you know. It's the Cosmic Cube. I'm pretty sure this is comic accurate. I think what's not comic accurate is the fact that it holds a gemstone. One of the Infinity Gauntlet gemstones, that is not comic accurate. I'm almost like 100% certain on that. So if you missed your chance to grab the Star-Lord from the old San Diego Comic Con set, don't miss your chance to grab this one. I'm a little bit partial, again, to these comic designs, but this is just awesome. I don't feel like there's anybody that can look at this and not think that it's a really awesome design. You know, it's got some World War II-esque look to it, and to me, that's just awesome. The articulation overall was pretty good. Not too bad, not too great. There was some shoddy paint work here and there. Nothing really noticeable or something for me to really critique on. I would definitely recommend this Star-Lord figure and the rest of the set so far, so nothing's disappointed me. This Star-Lord hasn't disappointed me. It's great like the rest of the figures in the set. For more cool toys like Star-Lord, check out the link in the description below to Big Bad Toy Store, my favorite toy store. Thanks for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. Like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, bye!